You're watching Detroit's own WHPR-TV. Detroit Live. Welcome, Detroit. Welcome to Helen's Heavenly Delight. It's truly an honor to be here and a pleasure. Happy New Year again and again. I love you with the love of the Lord. The Lord told me something today, my viewers. You know, every show is dedicated to God, and I thank him, too, because he has given me so many talents, and I thank him for that. He told me my hands are gold. And when I bake, I bake to the glory of God. I give all praises to God, who is my life, who's the air that I breathe. But he told me something when I was at the altar. He said, you said this show is mine. So when you open up, I want you to pray. So Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for the honor and the privilege to just allow me to be here. Father God, bless my viewers, bless the city of Detroit, bless our armed forces that's on land, that's on sea and air, bless our police department, bless all of the mayors all over the world, the governors, bless our president of the United States of America, save him and deliver him. I pray for the Congress, I pray for the Pentagon, I pray for our doctors, our nurses, go into the intensive care units. Go into the rooms where the people are in comas. <laughs> Open up the blind eyes and deaf ears. I pray for our children. Our children. Our children are dying. I pray for your people. They're lost. They need you, Jesus. I pray for Israel. I plead the blood of Jesus over all the viewers, their family, their neighborhood. I plead the blood of Jesus over this station, WHPR, and their families. I plead the blood of Jesus over my special guest. No weapon formed against me, my viewers, WHPR, America, the United States of America. I pray that all come together in unity and stop the bickering, stop all of this hatred. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, put love on the people's heart. Raise up mamas and daddies and uncles and aunties that will say, for God I live, for God I die. Raise up prophets and ministers that will go out and be fisher of men. I pray for my pastor, First Baptist World Changers, and all of the members. I pray for all the pastors in the world that's teaching and preaching your word. Now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, you said you shall never leave us nor forsake us. And I bind every demonic spirit that try to harm our people because we are kingdom children. Now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, the same covenant that you made with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, mm, give it to the viewers. Give it to your people right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing lacking and nothing missing. All of these blessings I ask, I receive in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen and amen. Now, you know, God is so awesome because he said, he that has an ear, let him hear. And I heard him at the altar today, and I thank him for ears to hear. Every guest, like I said before on here, is ordained by God. And I pray that each one of the viewers that's on here get something receive something out of this because we all go through devastation this month god wanted me to dedicate it to cancer survivors my oldest daughter is a cancer survivor 
And I thank God for healing her body. I thank God for who he is. Now, like I told you before, God has blessed me with a business. I'm the CEO, but God is the head. I do wedding cakes. I do banana puddings, purses that's designed, that's made of cakes. I do sweet potato pies, apple pies. I do every kind of baked good that you can think of. And I thank God for that talent. And I also do catering. All you have to do is call me at 248-716-3825. Again, 248-716-3825. And I have a lot of specials that's on right now. Give me a call and you will be truly blessed because God has truly blessed me. I have an excellent guest, and she is so delightful. We met for the first time today. I talked to her on the phone, and everybody on my show, we just have fun because it's a delight to just talk about God and to praise God because that's what we're here for, to praise Him. Viewers, I would like to introduce you to my friend, my sister, your special guest, my special guest, Winona Thomas. She's an author of three books. She's a poet, and she writes plays also. She's a founder of a successful single mom's foundation that was birthed out of struggles. She has a 19-year-old daughter, and when I first met her, I said, oh, my God. I said, you look like a daughter yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the goal for the foundation is to encourage and inspire mothers to raise their self above challenges. Winona. Yes. It's a pleasure. It is a pleasure <laughs> to be here. I am so excited. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure because you're my sister. Though. Amen. You're my yes. Sister. yes. I, you know, I'm stuck to you like glue. <laughs> Amen. Now, tell us something uh, uh, about your devastation. And also, she has a book, too. Yes. Okay. So Amen. Come on, talk. Okay. Well, first of all, I just want to say that um, dear Helen brought her peach cobbler pie <laughs> and i had a piece and i'm telling you y'all it was delicious Thank you. so uh, i'm just so honored and just uh, blessed to be here and i wanted to the the word that i have for everybody is to let the people of god know that god still heals Amen. and in my journey of healing i call it a journey of healing mm -hmm. Because it wasn't that I just went through breast cancer, um, at, because at the time of the diagnosis, I was getting ready to go through a divorce, and I lost my grandmother. And all of this happened, like, in a matter of weeks. Okay. And so, you know, I had to gather myself and make a decision and let the Lord know that I wanted to live. Amen. And so um, I had to gather my faith because my, I'm going to be honest, my faith just like went flat. Okay, when, okay. Some, when they told me that, yes, this is breast cancer, you have two lumps in your breast. Yes. And I just, I started off with why, Lord, you know, why me? Yes. But then once I uh, gathered myself and picked up my faith and my mother, I thank God, for my mother because she was the one that encouraged me you, to let me know that you know what about your faith Ooh, and so after just having a conversation with her and i said okay lord i'm ready for this battle Praise God. and so you know during the, the going through i went through chemo i went through from august i was diagnosed august 2013 Jesus. and so i went through chemo from august through december okay. And so they wanted to do the chemo first okay. uh, versus the surgery because one of the lumps, the size of it was pretty big. Okay. So their goal was to try to shrink the tumor. Okay. And so from August to September, um, I would go for the chemo and then I would see my oncologist. And they would, she would tell me, well, you know, nothing's happening. It's, it's still the same. Okay. And, Helen, I'm going to tell you, one morning, because uh, I was still working my job, okay. taking chemo treatments. Mm -hmm. And 
my chemo was on a Thursday, so I would okay. take Thursday, Friday, and then I had the weekend to recuperate. Okay. But one Friday morning after uh, the chemo, okay. I sat up out of my bed in the morning, and I heard the Lord say on, to man. me, he said, you can kiss cancer goodbye Woo! because Jeez. you are healed. Glory. And so I started Glory. praising God, Thank and you. I just did that. Thank you, Jesus. And so it did not matter that every time I went to see my oncologist, you know, she said, well, it's nothing changing, nothing is happening. But in January of 2014, because they had scheduled the surgery for February 2014. So in January 2014, I was done with the chemo treatments. So they wanted to do another PET scan, um, an MRI, to see what was going on. Okay. And so because the actually the oncologist did in December, she said it does feel like it's shrinking. Okay. And so in January when they ran the, the scans, okay. I'll never forget, she called me on my job. Mm -hmm. She said one tumor, the one that uh, was so big, mm -hmm. it had shrunk down to, it was just like uh, scar tissue. Thank you, Jesus. And then the second tumor, the Thank smaller you. one, that one had just dissipated. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. God told you yes. that. Yes, amen, <laughs> amen. And I'm going to tell you something, because I began to, part of my book, this is my book, A Place of Peace. And part of what I wrote in the book is about the power of confessions. Ooh, because Jesus. as I was going through, I started talking to my tumors. Come I started now. saying, you dissipated That's in the right. name of Jesus. Yeah. You healed. I command you to go Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so the very thing that I was confessing, God actually did for Thank me. You, Jesus. Because I believe that our confession, yes. those are fighting words. That's those right. help us fight. That's right. That's and right. so, you know, when my oncologist called me and told me, you know, what God did. Thank you, Jesus. And I I said, thank you, Lord thank God, you, because the, the manifestation Woo! of the word that you dropped yes. in my spirit, yes. it, it has now come to pass. That's right. And so in February, when I had the surgery, okay. they took five lymph nodes out okay. and I had a, a, a complete mastectomy of okay. my right breast. Okay. And so when they took the five lymph nodes out and the breast tissue, okay. um, after the surgery, they came and talked to me and said, we tested all of the tissue, you, and everything came back negative. Ooh. So I, I was thanking, <laughs> I was praising God Hallelujah. that God, he healed. Yes, he does. He still yes, heals. Yes, he does. And, you know, one of the things that I had to do to, to give me strength to get through this, I found scriptures yes. uh, and just meditated yes. on what God said yes. about yes. healing. Yes. Yes. And so that's what, what God did for me. Amen. Because yes. God's promises amen. is yes and amen, yes, isn't it? it? Is. And what yes. he says. Yes. I mean, you you I mean you can put it in the bank. That's because right. Because he is the bank. He owns the vault. He owns <laughs> the cattle right. of a thousand hills. Yes. And when amen. he tell you something right now, yes. oh my God. Yes. I'm telling you, if I could run, I would run. <laughs> <laughs> amen. Yes. And just thank God for yes. it. And amen. look where he's brought you. And from. look where he's brought me from. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. And it's been um how long? It's been 14. I was declared a survivor. 14, 56. It's been. It'll be four years next Thank you, month. Jesus. And I'm telling you. And I just. And it's gone. It's gone. And and, 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 it's, and it's not coming back. And no, it ain't coming back. In the name of Jesus. God's word yes. Don't come back. That's long. right. He's a God That's that right. Cannot lie. Cannot yes. fail. I'm yes. telling you. I love him. Amen. I love him. Amen. I love him. I love him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Jesus. Now tell us about uh, your foundation. Well, the foundation, the Successful and Single Moms Network. I wanted Praise to God. create a foundation because I wanted, I'm a single mom. Okay. And so I know the struggles, you know, the challenges that uh, single mothers face. Yes. But I wanted to let the moms know that just because you are a single mom, Amen. that does not mean you cannot live successfully. And when I say live successfully, I'm talking about how, we raise our children Amen. you know we don't have to raise our children defeated they can still have the best Amen. education Amen. they can still uh, have access to the best uh, resources because because i'm gonna tell you my daughter she graduated from novi high school 
cum laude. Ooh, she was Jesus. the top of her class. Thank you, Jesus. And she applied. Um, she got accepted to a university in Illinois directly into the nursing program. Look at God. So, yes, I know that Woo. when I use the word successful, I'm mm. not necessarily talking about money. You Amen. know, Amen. I'm talking about raising our kids. That's right. The and way God say, the way God mm-hmm. say mm-hmm. training them up Amen. the way God Amen. say. Amen. And so I want to reach back to other single moms. Thank you, Jesus. And the launching of the, the foundation was last year, and there was a mother that came. Thank she you, had Jesus. seven children. Oh, she was a single mother. So I had a guest speaker come out. The guest speaker adopted the mother and her children, and for Christmas, all of her children, the, and as well as the mom, they all had Christmas Praise gifts. God. So you know, I thank God to be that He put me in a position yeah. to be able to do that, to be a blessing. Yes, because you 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 give a monetary gift yes. and you teach them how to do uh, resumes. Yes, and, and to exactly. get successful jobs. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's see, right. I yes. That for you. <laughs> Yes. You know, and that's wonderful. Yes, amen. That's what, see, that's what God wants us to do. Yes. To be fisher of men. That's right. To go out. Yes. And and do his will. Amen. And because we are destined to be millionaires for the kingdom. Mm, amen. And by being a millionaire for the kingdom, mm. he said, feed my sheep. Yes. Give them that wisdom, that knowledge. Yes, amen. Oh, my God, my God. Yes, yes. Look at God. Amen. Oh, he's wonderful, isn't yes, he? Yes, And then you awesome. write plays, too, right? Yes. I actually... Um, Before I wrote the play, I Mm -hmm. never thought I would be a playwright. Okay. But I actually had a dream. Praise God. And in the dream, it was like I was at it. I was on stage in a play. And then afterwards, I went off the stage, and and I was just watching the end of the play. Okay. And I looked out in the audience. The audience was packed. And so towards the end of the dream, the people was coming to me and thanking me. So come to find out, I was the one who wrote the play. Okay. Yeah, okay. So just like the dream. Just like the dream. So when I woke up, you know, I, I thank God because he blessed me to still remember the dream. Just like Joseph. Yeah, so I wrote everything down. I wrote it and turned it to an actual play. So Praise this God. is something that I'm working on Praise because God. I would love to see this play actually in production, just like I saw it in the dream. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. And you're a missionary, you're an evangelist. Yes, and, and, and I thank God. You're building yes. uh, the kingdom of God, the body of Christ. Amen. I like that. Amen. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, that, yes. That is. Yes. You know, and I love that. Yes. I love it. Amen. When you ask God to use you, mm. oh, my God, he'll use you, won't he? You, he will use yes. you. Yes. I just say, Lord, use me. I don't care. How you use me? <laughs> Amen. It's Amen. an honor. It's, yes, it is. It really is. Amen. I, I just thank God. When I read your bio, I mm. said, oh, my goodness. Amen. I said, I know her. Yes. Because you're my sister. Amen. Yes. Because we're sisters in Christ. That's right. So I said, look at this. So you know, you know, uh, now tell us about this book now. Tell us this about this book. book. <laughs> I of, bought three of the books now. <laughs> yes, I thank God. <laughs> because you know what? I went to an event. Um, it was a breast cancer award ceremony okay. honoring uh, survivors and caregivers. Okay. And one of the, what was so awesome about this event, because I was a vendor there, okay. the ladies were coming to the table purchasing like three, four, five copies of the book and Praise then giving God. them out to other Praise women. God. And so, you know, that that's what blessed me okay. the most, okay. you know, that they would, you know, take my book and then turn around and bless it. Just for somebody else to. Um, it's a blessing. To yes, give it's to a receive. blessing. Yes, and that's what God wants us to do. That's right. To give. That's right. And, you know, and that's Amen. what that's what you're doing. I'm doing. Yes, you know? yes. And I say, God, come on, Jesus. That's right. Come on, that's Jesus. Right. I yes. can see us now, girl. He got Amen. great things for us. That's don't right. Yes, he does. In the name of in Jesus. In the mighty name yes. of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Now you say your your daughter is a nurse. Well, she's in the nursing program. Oh, God. Yes, yes. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's so, wonderful. Yeah. I thank God for her because, and you know what? At the time that I was diagnosed, she was getting ready to go into high school, so okay. she had like her own set of nerves going on. So of course. I just thank God because um, she just she rose up to the challenge. She oh, did not. 
allow what I was going through because first of all I had to let her know that mommy is okay, okay. because if she saw that I was okay, okay. she was okay right, right. and so you know she rose up to the challenge of you know taking care of mommy for a little while and she did not let her grade slack she continued to Jesus. remain on the honor roll and Thank I will Jesus. never forget um, when I was going through the chemo and like all my facial hair had okay. fell out okay. and I, that was like completely unexpected. Okay. And so I'm like, oh my goodness, I still have to go to work. <laughs> so we went shopping because she's like a makeup guru. Oh, so right. we went shopping, Ooh. got a bunch of like stuff for my eyes, all my eyebrows, okay. eyelashes, okay. everything came out. Aww. And so we had a tutorial. She showed me how to, to wear the makeup and everything. Yes, she did. Caregiver. She, yes, yes, caregiver. Yes. And so, and then I, it was another time after I had the surgery, they had put like a bulb here for drainage. Okay. And so the dressing needed to be changed. So uh, my sister, who's a nurse, would come over. But when she wasn't there, okay. my daughter, she stepped up. She oh, changed Jesus. the dress and she Ooh, didn't flinch. Or she just did what she had That's to Jesus. do. Yes, yeah, she oh, did what she God. had to do. So, you know, as a care, a young caregiver, you, you know, so we have to be thankful. You know, I'm so thankful for the, the caregivers, my family, the Amen. support. I had an awesome support system Thank from you, my Jesus. family, Thank even you, my co-workers. Thank so you, yeah, it was just it, it's been a, it was an amazing journey. That's yes, Jesus. yes, it was. I mean, he make you favor with everything. Yes, he that's, did. That's the word he gave me at the altar. Today. Amen. He said favor. I Amen. Said, Lord, thank you for favor. Yes, that's favor. Amen. You know, to be yes. Blessed. And the Bible say, honor thy mother and thy father. That's right. And our days will be long. That's right. And so you are truly blessed. Yes. And I, I thank am. God for that. I can't wait to meet your fantastic daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's a blessing. Yes, it was. So, so this book mm -hmm. is wonderful. A Place of Peace. Yes. I can't wait to read it. Amen. Amen. And I told her, I want one more too, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got to give Amen. my other daughter one. Amen. Because we have to support each other. Yes. You know, that's what we're here for, to love one another, support that's right. each other. That's right. And, and she has them at, at, at an awesome price. She's not, tr she's, she's not trying to, to drain you. Yes. To, to rob you. Yes. And um, like I tell people, you know, when, when God bless you with a talent and mm. you went for with yes. that talent. Amen. Like in Second Corinthians one and twenty, for all the promises of God in him are yes and amen. That's right. So you went for it. And in Luke one thirty seven, for with God all things are possible. That's right. And I always tell my viewers too, when you least expect it, mm -hmm. you are selected. Mm. You're the star. That's right. Smile. <laughs> You are the hell is heavenly delight. Amen. I <laughs> love that. I mean, I had we had so much fun. Yes, we did. I mean, we act like we've been doing each other again. <laughs> I tell everybody, I said, right. we're gonna have some fun talking about Jesus. Yeah. Because see, Jesus don't make no robot. That's right. Because he needs us. Yes, yes. To be disciples, yes. to be fisher of men. Yes. And he say, Reel it, reel it in, reel yes. it in. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that's why I tell people all the time. It's no such thing as black life matters. Mm. All life matters. That's right. God made us all brothers and sisters. That's so right. So we better Amen. get ourselves together. That's right. And get on our knees and pray yes. and read and go fellowship with the saints because church is for the assembly, mm. the body of Christ, where we go and get that breakthrough. That's right. And, and we pray for one another, yes. you know. And I want you all to give me a call, you know, so you can order some Helen's Heavenly Delight, 248-716-3825. Well, Nona, yes. it was a blessing to have you, and I'm going to have you back. Amen. Because we got to follow up on, 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 on everything. Yes. On and your play that yes. you're going to do. Yeah, amen. And everything. Amen. Sisters and brothers, you know, I tell you every time, Jesus is doing a drive-by. Be ready, because he's on his way to your neighborhood. So get your house in order. You have to have that relationship with Christ sisters and brothers you got to read the word you got to pray and you got to ha you have to have faith hebrews 11 1 now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen faith is the word the word is god so you put god where faith is now god is the substance of things hoped for 
and the evidence of things not seen. When you put God ahead of everything, everything, because he's the air that you breathe. Don't listen to negative people because they hate us. They don't want you to accomplish anything. But when you got God before you, he said he shall never leave you nor forsake you. And he's a God that cannot lie and cannot fail. I'm here to tell you, my hands are gold. He told me my hands are gold. And that's when I bake, I bake to the glory of God. And when everyone tastes my baked goods, the first thing to come out of their mouth when I beat up the batter, when I bake up the cakes and the pies, I say, Lord, take off the shackles. Let the first word that come out of their mouth say, oh, my God, this is wonderful. And that's what they do. To God be the glory for the things he is doing in my life. And I speak health, wealth. I speak the spirit of God to cover you, you and your family, protect you 24 hours a day. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I plead the blood of Jesus over every viewer that's watching in the mighty name of Jesus. And to my wonderful grandchildren, Elijah, Joseph, Jeremiah, Dominique, I love you all. And to my children, Helen Jr., Sean, Sherry, Lori, and Lorna, I love you dearly. And keep on doing the will of God. Because when you got Jesus, you got everything. I am a proud mother. Because I got Jesus. And when you got Jesus, brothers and sisters, that's all you need is Jesus. That's why this show is dedicated to God. Every show is dedicated to God. Every viewer on here is because God tell me to have them. And I thank God for every viewer. Every viewer. And we're going to have exciting guests because they have a word for you. And that word is from God. Like Winona said. God is still in the healing business. So get ready for your healing. Whatever you ask God for, believe it, speak it. The power is in your mouth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I love you. Until next time, Helen's Heavenly Delight. God bless you all. I love you. Be blessed. Be safe.